So, uh, <laughs> here we are. It is now two hours later after uh, heading to this great picking party in the full moonlight uh, here on this muggy. It is 75 degrees here at uh, about 10 o'clock at night on uh, Thursday, January 25th. I think we're looking at a low of about 70 tonight. Uh, so anyway, uh, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm sure you guys, uh, for the few of you out there who in, in, enjoy such ironic stories, uh, so I did this. I, I did this long rant, uh, you know, about my my little homage to the to Sister Moon, my little love song to the moon as I was driving down here, uh, hoping to be playing uh, music under the moonlight with my friends is what I was looking forward to under the light of this beautiful full moon. So I get down here and I and I see uh, there's a bunch of cars and people milling around. Well, what it is, it was not a picking party. It was not a picking party. It was a goddamn open mic, uh, which you know basically means that this bunch of rank amateurs. Uh, gets up and their various caterwauling and whatever. Every once in a while you'll get someone pretty good at one of these open mics. So uh, <clears throat> I get there and um, look around and I'm saying, well, okay, am I just, it, it, so it's an open mic uh, instead of a fucking picking party, but you drove all this way so just sit down uh, and enjoy uh, the moonlight and and uh, and, and just uh, you know enjoy listening to some music even if you can't play and enjoy the moonlight and hanging out with some nice old hippies uh, out in the woods in the moon listening to uh, acoustic music uh, there, there's worse ways to pass an evening so I, uh, I get out of the truck, and of course I aim for to sit kind of, uh, you know, just a delicate distance from this uh, attractive, probably 55-year-old blonde sitting uh, back by the fire. And uh, <clears throat> so... I wanted to be facing into the moonlight. So I, I, I sit down and so here is the setup. Here is the setup uh, with, the, with this bunch of old hippie uh, acoustic music folk singers is the audience is facing due east into, the, uh, it, it, into this gorgeous moonrise but there's a couple of problems. So that so the people on stage are facing out. So they are facing into the audience, and the audience is looking up at the stage. So the so the first thing that happened since there was a you know a chance of thunderstorms tonight is that they put a big fucking tent up in front of the stage. A a big canvas tent so if you go you know to listen to the music you're you're sitting under a fucking tent uh where you can't see the sky at all so that sky you know so then so that's when i i said well this isn't gonna work i can't see the fucking moon and uh hold on i'm getting a call Hey, darling, is this you? Hello. Uh, anyway, that's... Uh, <laughs> oh, well, that's Ariel, my 
my, uh, I guess on one level, Ariel, my crazy astrologer friend, Ariel, uh, she'll be my doomer chick forever. But anyway, so I, uh, there's no reception here, darling. So uh, I move back out of the goddamn tent <clears throat> and, uh, and, and, I, and I'm trying to look at the goddamn moon, but when you look towards the moon, there's not one, not two, but three of these goddamn uh, big ass security lights. You know, those fucking uh, security lights up on the goddamn three of these goddamn things blinding you. I, I mean, right directly in the path of the fucking moon. So, there's about 30 people there. About 20 of them are, are sitting under the fucking tent. And about 10 of them are out under these, these goddamn uh, giant security lights so I say fuck this and uh, I got my goddamn chair and uh, Sancho and I we we walked about uh, 500 feet away uh, and, and I plopped down my chair and sat there by myself drinking a fucking margarita and enjoying this absolutely mind-blowing full moon rise is this absolutely glorious uh, full moon rise and, and, and you know I wasn't even high I mean I was I was drinking a margarita but you know what I'm saying and I'm thinking my god uh, what this would look like on shrooms right now and I and, and I'm sitting there to just absolutely uh, just loving this this unbelievable uh, show that I'm getting, uh, you know, sitting there by myself. I, I wasn't even five, I was probably 300 feet from, from, my, from every other fucking human. And, and, and there I am, sitting there alone with my thumb up my ass with my fucking dog. Thinking, you know, once again, oh my God, am I am I here all alone? Uh, you know, sitting there while all of my fellow fucking humans were uh, so we we enjoyed that show, and then uh, on, on top of that, then this uh, you know thunder storm out in the distance with the lightning flashing and lighting up the clouds uh, over the lake and all of this stuff uh, coming in uh, and, and, and enjoying that, that gorgeous uh, lightning show. Uh, you know, lightning is, is one of those things that's right up there with, uh, <clears throat> you know, the full moon. And uh, just enjoying this glorious fucking lightning show. And then, of course, well, we all know what that meant. Uh, and then the plink, plink, plink of rain started. And uh, so I just packed up my fucking chair and left. And there's everyone huddling under the damn tent. Oh, fuck. So that was my big exciting night playing music with my friends. You know, there I am again. What a fucking surprise. Uh, sitting there alone with my goddamn uh, thumb on my ass. You know, I was sitting there thinking, you know, last summer, the, the, the one fucking time uh, I took a break. Uh, from Bugs in a Jar last summer to go to the Gray Fox Music Festival. There I am with 5,000 fucking people at, uh, at, at this music festival. And uh, what was I doing? I, I, I was sitting there alone. 5,000 fucking people picking parties going on all around me. Uh, my damn friend who came all the fucking way from Austin, she was uh, asleep in the goddamn tent uh, at 11 o'clock at night, and, and I'm just sitting out there, uh, you know, within within a thousand feet 
uh, 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 of 20 fucking picking parties going on. Sitting there alone with my fucking thumb up my ass. Didn't even have my damn dog with me. And uh, so, you know, so, so I'm sitting there tonight <clears throat> out there alone. Uh, you know, watching this glorious moon rise while uh, everybody else uh, is 300 feet away, uh, is sitting under a fucking tent or under these goddamn lamps, and uh, and I'm thinking, okay, Ham, uh, imagine that uh, you had a woman with you right now that that, that you had actually brought a date. Uh, to 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 this damn place, whether it's some chick you found on pile of fish or whether it was Dulcinea, uh, you get you get any fucking woman on the planet, <clears throat> you'd pulled up, and 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 there had been uh, all thirty people over there doing their little uh, stuff that that humans do, uh, you know, all clumping together. Uh, where would she have rather been? Would, would she have uh, would she have voted with the uh, with the thirty people, or would she have been sitting there with you watching this beautiful uh, fucking lightning show? And, and the and the chances were about thirty to one that uh, she would go. She, you know, if we'd gotten there, and uh, and I had suggested, uh, oh, fuck this, uh, let's go over and, uh, and 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 watch this damn uh, moonrise show. Uh, she would have looked at me uh, like I was fucking crazy, and, and, and she goes, she goes, I can hear. Her. We drove all the fucking way from Dunellen to to get here. Uh, and, and, and now you're suggesting that uh, just the two of us uh, are, are going to go sit out there uh, and and, and uh, you know she would look at me like I'd fucking uh, lost my fucking mind. Oh, God, I, I just fucking give up. Uh, I I am uh, I, I am just destined. Uh, to to be fucking alone the rest of my life, you know my uh, my mama, you know she kind of uh, was not exactly warning me about this, but I, I mean when I was a little kid, uh, my mother would you know would comment about uh, how uh, you you what was her word you. It wasn't the path left. So you follow the beat of a different drum uh, from uh, from pe- from y- y- you know the the herd, and uh, just gently letting me know that I was going to spend a lot of my fucking life uh, sitting out there fucking alone, going, "Oh my God, am I here all alone all over again?" Uh, you know, so you, you, you got to make your fucking call. And do, you, do you clump with the herd uh, so you can be part of the herd? Or do you blaze your own trail and sit there and, and have this, uh, you know, this glorious fucking full moon and uh, lightning show? I, I, I chose the fucking moon and the lightning show. Oh well, I am getting back to uh, civilization, so I will see what uh, what's on Ariel's mind. I'm gonna get the uh, the, the the latest update on the uh, on the cards for you know she did the. <laughs> Remember, uh, Ariel, she, she, you know, she's a tarot card reader, and she did a reading on, uh, she did a tarot card reading on uh, my uh, future prospects with Dulcinea. This was like, when, when was this? Two or three years ago, 
that uh, Ariel did this reading on, uh, on, on Dulcinea and I's future life together and we were uh, sandwiched between, uh, between drama and death. Uh, <laughs> That it was going to go from drama to death was was basically uh, what was in the cards for me and Dulcinea. And I have got to say, uh, so far, darling, uh, your uh, your reading of the cards uh, was spot the fuck on. All right, it looks like civilization ahead. Enjoy the moon. It'll still look full tomorrow night. Oh my God.